welcome to Sienna's Deep Dive. We're gonna see what we can find uh, here at the Ultimate Comics Super Secret Warehouse. I found this box labeled with a question mark, which usually means that someone was starting on doing something with it uh, and then lost it. We lost track of it here. So there could be some cool stuff in here or it could be a dud. Let's go find out. All right, so like I said, have no idea what's in here. Could be good stuff, could be junk. The first book, nothing crazy. Uh, Avengers Annual, cool Delato art, but you know, not worth anything. Um, going through, looks like some Captain America. Looks like the Brubaker run, which is cool, but this looks like just kind of run stuff. Nothing crazy exciting. I mean, it's great stuff, but it's just, you know. Nothing very exciting. All right, I wonder if this whole box is just Captain America. Okay, it's kind of cool. Um, a little bulk pack. These aren't in great condition, but uh, this is Star Wars, the first issue of Marvel Star Wars. It's the first issue uh, in the Disney Star Wars Extended Universe. This is was also the highest print run book in the modern era of comics until uh, Berserker from Boom Studios, which is kind of cool. So a little bit of comic book history uh, in this condition, not worth a ton because we just, I guess, left it in a bag. Uh, we got some of the director's cuts, a, a different printing where you get some backup material. Again, not in great shape, so not worth a ton, but still kind of cool. This looks like it used to be in our back issues. Uh, Spider-Man versus Wolverine. Again, not worth a ton, but just a really cool book. Uh, for fans of both characters. Uh, some some cool Bronze Age stuff. Again, now we're just getting to some random back issues. This is cool. Uh, this is some Adam Hughes Catwoman covers. Uh, they're just super popular because of the covers. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, lower print run because it's, you know, issue 65 of Catwoman, which isn't a crazy popular series, but collectors love Adam Hughes. So these look like they're actually in really nice shape. So they're looking like they're near mint. Got a couple. Again, just really weird. I love that pose. That is a great pose. I love these covers. Um, maybe the rest of the box is Batman. Some, some beat up uh, Bronze Age Batman. This is from like the Neil Adams era, which is my favorite era of Batman. Um, Again, I don't know why we have all these random back issue books in the box, but we might have been pulling stuff for the live show. We do a live show uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern on our Facebook page. So this could have been stuff that we just thought were kind of cool, cool covers, maybe trying to put it together a set of Captain America. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> now this is actually really cool. Um, this is the kind of crazy stuff you find in the warehouse, like, once a month. Um, sorry, I'm just, like, condition checking for a second. It's not a 9-8, but it's a really nice looking book. Uh, this is Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel, which just blew up, like, very recently. Uh, this is the first appearance of Blue Marvel, uh, which has a ton of spec heat on it because, uh, there's... People are trying to put together what's happening in WandaVision. So they think this character could show up out of that series. Um, the print run on this, insanely low, like under 20,000. I will try and find that for you, maybe put it in a little text, but it's, it's real low. And it's the first appearance of a new character. I mean, Alan told us to look for this book. This is like a thousand dollar book. Uh, not a 9-8, you got, you know, some stuff on the corner there. But it could come back a 9-6, which would make it like a grand. Uh, if if we get, we get it slabbed. So that is really cool. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, okay, so maybe this is a cooler box than I thought, because now you follow that up. Uh, this is Shell Shock. This is super cool. This is from Mirage Studios, um, which is the original you know publisher of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Peter Laird, Kevin Eastman. This is like the one of the first graphic novels containing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stories. This has a bunch of short stories printed in it, but it is really cool because Turtles got so hot. Uh, this has gone up in value. 
uh, probably like a $40, $50 thing in condition. It's in a weird poly bag, so I'd have to double check, but that's pretty cool. So now I'm thinking this was pulled for a live show. Cause this is another freaking key. I'm wondering, I mean, that's pretty rad. This is Legends number one. Nothing crazy, it's not, it's like probably like a $20, $30 book. But it's the first appearance of the Modern Suicide Squad. And it is the first appearance of Amanda Waller. Uh, so Suicide Squad 2 coming out soon. It's a cool book to have. It's not worth a ton, but again, it's pretty beat up, but that's cool. I mean, again, this is really cool. Again, not worth anything. Probably like still a four or $5 book, which is insane to me. But this is the second appearance of Spoiler. It uh, looks like we have like 10, 15 copies. Um, huge character in the uh, DC Universe. Hasn't shown up in the movies or really like live action stuff yet. I think this is gonna be worth more eventually. So this is probably, we're gonna just hold on to it. I mean, again, this must be a live show box. This is just Marvel Star Wars. Beat up issues, but early issues. Uh, 35 cent covers. Um, this isn't as hot as some of the Dark Horse Star Wars stuff, but it's still really cool. Uh, and a lot of people are after these right now. We got a little Magneto mini series here that is complete. Looks like it. One, two, three, four, and, and a shoved in a bag together. That's not worth a ton, but Magneto's my favorite villain, so I mean, it's it's a really fun read. And again, now we're kind of at just random stuff. This is just Alex Ross Batman, written by Denny O'Neill, so that's cool. Um, part of the Last Ride storyline, but nothing key about it. Uh, now you're in Nightfall Batman, which skimming it looks like the back half is just a bunch of random 80s batman stuff which is cool stuff again a lot of stuff we sell on the live show kelly jones cover it's awesome but not worth a ton might have been someone trying to put together a set and yeah it looks like just a bunch of random bronze age stuff oh, that's cool that's definitely something we'll sell on the live show uh, this is from Panini Comics, uh, which is a foreign comic. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where this is, but uh, it looks German. So this is a, looks like a German print Spider-Man with a sketch cover. Uh, so, you know, you can get your favorite artist to draw Spidey on there. Uh, that's really cool. We don't get a lot of foreign comics. We don't have a ton. We just don't have a lot of people who bring that into us. So that's pretty rad. I know some people collect these. So that's super cool. I mean, obviously the best thing, that's it, that's it. That's the end of this box. The best thing is totally this. I mean, this is a thousand dollar book, like I said. Like, hopefully we get a 9.6. I'm just like eyeballing it right now. There's a couple things on the spine, but I mean, even, even without a 9.6, this is a crazy hot book. Uh, worth going through the question mark box. Uh, filled with a lot of junk. So, very cool. Uh, that's it. No longer a question. We've gone through the box. We know what's in there. Um, yeah, tune in to the live show where you're gonna see a lot of this stuff. Probably not this bad boy. We are sending this to CGC. Um, but tune in uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern at the Ultimate Comics Live Show Facebook page. And uh, you can probably find some of this stuff on there in the next couple weeks and give us a like and subscribe and I'll keep just digging through this place. There are so many boxes that are, no one's opened in 10 years or they are, you know, we don't know what's in them. So I'll keep digging through them. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Uh, I am really happy about that. That is awesome. <laughs>